so in our last video we learned that how to do that update of any records so now in this video now we'll try to learn how to delete one or many records based on our condition so now what i will go and do that so suppose this time i wanted to delete where class is for so now what i can do again i will go and db dot now collection name so this will be a student dot now delete so we have again to delete one and delete many so first i will go with delete one okay and in this one i will go ahead and try to pass this time i can do it in a different way okay and then i will show you how we can why how we can do that underscore id okay and now see this id is getting automatically generated so if i can put in this one in this way okay so if i go for this one is class four okay so you can see that automatic generation one is underscore id and we know this will be unique okay so what we need to do and see you can they always converting that to object id so now what i can do i also need to convert to object id so what i will do i will go ahead and i will put that object id okay this bracket single quotation that and anything else no so object id is not defined what i put that error is this one okay just a minute object object id okay now i think this will work fine okay so now you can see that uh, as we know that mongodb is also going to take care of this case sensitive so first one last time i put that o as a small and d as capital due to which it's throwing that object id is not defined so now when i corrected it and this one you can see it here also it's written so same thing i need to put it so that it will convert and then check it out so we saw that deleted count equals to one so now if i go and put in this way now already five is there now i will go and do that refresh now we can see now it's become four and class four is no more displaying it here okay so now what i can do this one is delete one was there now i wanted to delete that where class one is there so here we have two records right so to delete this one what we can do we can go ahead and put that i will put all those things again dot delete many okay and in delete many what i am going to pass now this time i am going to pass class okay one and then i will put that hit that enter so now you can see uh, acknowledge true and delete count is two because we know that first one and fourth one need to delete it now we can see both got deleted so in this way we can go ahead and delete that uh, based on our condition one or many so last time you saw it here that it came a error here as well so similarly if i suppose if i go and put the same thing and you know that class is c is capital if i put that c as a small and delete for two class two we have right and if i put that enter it's saying that acknowledgement true but delete count is zero okay this time it's not throwing any error and here it throws that error because this is a uh, object uh, we using object as a function that need to be predefined but here our class is they not sure that it's found or not so it's not found so delete count is zero and if it's found then it will be 
one so now i will show you one more time so i will go it here and then i will put that and i will go ahead and make that c as a capital because we have capital here c okay and then i will go and put that hit that enter so now you can see that delete count one okay and previously it was showing zero because nothing it's found so if we going to use somewhere i need to check is that how many record got deleted so we can put that if condition with acknowledgement true to check that okay is that our query run successfully or not and then delete count equals to zero and one okay so now here it's came one so if i go and refresh it so now two also got deleted okay so now you can see one more time i am still putting two okay so now it's still saying true but delete count equals to zero same thing whatever we did that spelling uh, caps and a small but here everything is correct but since there are no records so it's displaying that for a specific condition so it displaying delete count equals to zero so if later point of time we need to check that some other condition then we can use both of this value to see uh, uh, what we needed based on our condition okay so i hope you like this video if you have any question please let me know thank you